It's a joy to be with you on this Tuesday, and today I want to go to 1 Corinthians chapter 1. A while back we talked about a couple of these verses from a different angle, but I'd like to come back to them, verses that are a great encouragement to us. I want to start with verse 25 of 1 Corinthians 1, because the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. Well, there's no foolishness or weakness with God, but if there was, it would be far superior uh, to us as human beings. Verse 26, For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. Now let me stop there. Many believers are very much pressured by people of standing, people that have succeeded, people who are admired. And oftentimes, as we try to serve the Lord, the people of the world in particular, or even worldly believers that are like that, begin to look down and they have a condescending view toward us if we're trying to serve the Lord. But we need to be encouraged that God doesn't call people on the basis of their human status. They call, God calls people on the basis of their dependence upon him. We read in verse 27, But God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty, and base things of the world, and things which are despised, hath God chosen, yea, and things which are not to bring to naught things that are, that no flesh should glory in his presence. Great verses. You see, God will not share his glory with anyone else. And all of these that seem to be so successful, well, they are not as you might think they are, as this scripture says. It's those who have the Spirit of God and are allowing the miraculous spiritual gifting that the Holy Spirit gives to be exercised through them that are the ones who are truly the ones that God has chosen. In fact, God loves to take folks that maybe aren't economically that successful or people that may not seem to have the human giftings or people that aren't very high in social strata. And he loves to take those that love him, that are humble, that are fully submissive to him and exalt them to lift them up as 1 Peter chapter 5 says and James chapter 4. He uses the foolish things of the world to confound the wise and the weak things to confound things which are mighty. And oh, today, God's people have got to not look at human status. They've got to not be intimidated by all of the different positions and the success and the material things that people have. We need to realize that when we allow God to use us, we are the ones who confound the world. The world cannot confound us. And we need far more spiritually empowered believers to strengthen one another in the church. That's what the, gift is for, uh, the gifts are for, so that that church can indeed be the lighthouse for the dark world. I'm telling you, when you have churches that are on fire for God, they affect communities. And that's the thing that we need to, to realize. So God has ordained all of us. We're all the weak and base things of the world. And if we'll just trust God and not look at our human abilities, certainly we need to develop, but at our spiritual giftings and let God use us, that's when he can glorify himself. And may God give us that kind of heart to really believe him that he can use each one of us.